Hey YouTube, uh, my name's Scott, Scotty. Most of you know me as SP Scotty. My YouTube channel name is SP Scotty. Um, those of you who've been watching me for a long time know that I, uh, I never really get in front of the camera. I'm not sure I ever have been in front of the camera while shooting one of my videos. Um, and very rarely do I speak while I shoot a video. I just tend to let my subjects, to, uh, you know, do the speaking for themselves. My trains, my semi trucks, you know, they make awesome sounds on their own, and uh, I tend to let them do uh, do all the speaking, so to speak. Um, so, so this video is quite different than any of the others you've seen on my channel before. It is basically a, uh, a shout out and a thank you to one of my video uh, to one of my subscribers. Um, a while back, I contacted one of my viewers who uh, who mentioned that he had a magnetic camera mount, and uh, and I was interested in this. He's got a magnetic camera mount for his GoPro camera, and. Uh, I've always wanted a magnetic camera mount for the little POV camera that I'm shooting this with. My little Sony uh, ASV100, I believe is what the model is, um, or A100V, I'm not sure, something like that. Anyway, um, so I've always wanted a, a magnetic camera mount for this camera so that I could uh, stick it on to steel things like the frame of my truck. Uh, to catch shots of the suspension in action, you know, flexing while I'm off-road. Um, to stick it to uh, the web of railroad track, the rail. I'd like to stick it onto the, the web of a rail and uh, catch video of a train rolling over the camera, you know, get the underside perspective of, of, uh, of a train rolling over my camera. So that's why I am in the in my garage on a hundred degree day making this video. It's as I said a shout out and a thank you to uh, to Jimmy at To the Top Crane. Um, about a month ago, uh, Jimmy made a comment on one of my videos. Uh, happened to be a a grove. I believe it was a, a five or six axle Grove crane sitting on a low boy trailer that I shot video of at Trucking for Kids uh, last year in Irwindale, California. Uh, Jimmy, who is in St. Joseph, Missouri, he works for a company called uh, Bruner Construction and Crane, and he operates a Tadano. Uh, 180G model crane, among other things. He's a truck driver for their for that company. He operates other smaller cranes um, and boom trucks. So Jimmy, you know, commented. Jimmy and I were commenting back and forth on his videos uh, and my videos, and came to know that Jimmy made himself a magnetic camera mount, and. I asked him to make a video explaining how he made his camera mount, what it looked like, how he made it, and uh, he responded to me that he would actually just make one for me instead of doing the video. And I thought, well, okay, that's kind of a neat idea, you know. I, I'm not super uh, mechanically inclined to to just build stuff, and I'm not set up to to you know machine or weld or whatever it might take to do such things. Um, so I agreed to let Jimmy make the camera mount for me, to which I offered to pay. And he said no, he didn't want me to pay. But what he did want was for me to kind of make a, uh, a video thanking him, showing him the, the camera mount. I'm sorry, showing you viewers the camera mount. And, uh, and just promoting his channel, because he's new to YouTube. He's only been doing this for a few months. He, he put his first video up uh, right at the beginning of February so he's been he's, he's been at this only just a few months now. He's trying to get as many uh, subscribers and viewers as, as he can 
as we all are, you know, I'm very appreciative of the folks who have subscribed to my channel. Hopefully many of you are watching right now. Um, still watching at this point, I hope. Um, you know, I've got a good number of subscribers, over 20,000. Thank you all. Uh, Jimmy is kind of in a bet with his friend to get over a thousand subscribers to see who can get a thousand subscribers first. And last I checked a little while ago, he was, I think, at about 485 subscribers. So he's halfway to a thousand now. Um, hopefully, you know, my viewers who are interested in cranes, heavy equipment, trucks, will find his channel pretty interesting. He's got good content. He's good, good with the editing. Uh, he's very viewer responsive. He responds to all of his comments. You got a question, he'll answer it for you. Um, I've had questions, he's answered them, and you know, this is how we got to talking. And um, so, anyway, uh, try not to ramble on too long. Uh, I have to keep this video in one continuous running clip because my video editing software is not working properly right now. I'm trying to get it fixed or get my situation fixed to where I can start making more videos again, more truck videos. I've got a few more from Trucking for Kids 2017 to put out. Uh, it's killing me because I can edit them, but I just can't get them onto YouTube. But anyway, so getting to Jimmy's uh, magnetic mount, this is what he made for me. Came in, uh, came by FedEx the other day, and it's actually pretty neat. I'll show you what it is. Uh, oh, by the way, he had these little stickers made up and uh, shipped to me, you know, with, with my camera mount. So, uh, you know, he's promoting his channel, and that's good. He's, he's got me smoked already on, on abilities and such. So, uh, this is the magnetic mount here. What he did was he took three magnets, which are uh, actually used in the cattle industry, dairy cows and such. The... Uh, they they put they make the cows swallow these magnets so that it may attract whatever metallic hardware a, a cow might eat during its day and keep it from actually going through the the GI tract of a uh, of a cow so he's got a friend that makes these magnets and Jimmy took three of them put them all together glued them together uh, machined out a little groove so that he could take a GoPro camera mount with a, a threaded uh, tripod adapter which would work for my camera and he mounted the GoPro mount to the magnets. Uh, pretty simple idea. My idea was to take a CB magnetic antenna mount and somehow attach the threaded uh, tripod screw to a CB mount and and call it good. Turns out that uh, Jimmy had a different idea. I guess a more simple approach, but it seems to work and it seems to, you know, get the job done. He took a GoPro mount, put on the regular tripod adapter for me and stuck the GoPro mount to the top of the magnets and on the bottom he took regular silicone and dabbled it with his finger like this to texturize the bottom of it which does two, two things it, it, it's kind of a cushion so that you don't have steel on steel contact but it also adds traction to the to the mount to keep it from sliding on steel uh, seems to work pretty well you know got a good grip right there um, I don't anticipate that will slip down very easily um, so that's about it you know the, sim the simple idea that he had to make a ca magnetic camera mount and uh, well this is my truck many of you viewers who have been watching my video for my videos for for years now have probably seen this truck in the past I, you know I've got several videos of it from about seven or eight years ago when I used to run around with the Cummins Club here in Arizona uh, 
2005 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins diesel uh, live axle suspension so you know that's kind of neat to watch these things in action when they're going off-road uh, that's why I wanted this camera mount was to be able to stick it to places under the truck like on the frame you know on the for example on the frame rail here to maybe catch the suspend the front suspension in action doing its thing okay, you angle it over turn it tilt it up and down uh, wherever I need it to, to point this mount is allowing me to do that uh, or I can come back here to the frame rail get under here stick it to the frame or to the skid plate cross member shoot video looking forward of the suspension in action turn it around I can shoot video facing backwards rear suspension action shots uh, gonna be pretty versatile it looks like this camera mount or I can Stick it back here on my trailer hitch to uh, get the view looking forward. See the suspension in action, the drive shaft spinning, all you know, things that are interesting to a geek like me. Um, now, Jimmy has already mentioned it, and I also had the same idea that uh, a tether mounted on this mount would not be such a bad idea just as a, a cheap insurance policy to ensure that should this thing vibrate loose I won't lose the camera I won't lose the mount um, so at some point I will tie a, a nice tether around here to uh, just be a safety backup to ensure that I don't lose the camera and uh, you know, maybe I can make some interesting videos for some of you. Uh, I can't be the only one out there that wants to see the underside of trains or the uh, the suspension of a Dodge Ram 2500 in action. Uh, so that's going to allow me to do that. Hopefully, it you know it'll do what it's been intended to do and uh, so that was basically it for that for that mount now getting back to Jimmy at, to the top crane um, he did a, a shout out video kind of a thank you video thanking some of his subscribers last week to which I was actually one of them very surprised very uh, honored uh, humble that Jimmy mentioned me in his videos in one of his videos uh, promoting my channel so you know Jimmy's a real stand-up guy you can tell he's a you know down-to-earth person you watch his videos you'll see he's the real deal no BS just just you know good guy so I try to be as well in my videos I I try to respond to all my comments who ask me questions my commenters who ask me questions and uh, I give thanks to all of you guys for watching my videos supporting my channel for over nine years now thank you very much um, but you know that's that's it let's help Jimmy for those of you who are interested in uh, heavy equipment cranes construction type videos Jimmy's got a good channel. He's got the insider's perspective from a crane operator. He explains what he's doing, how things work, and uh, you'll find his channel pretty interesting. Let's let's get his numbers boosted up over a thousand. I thank you guys for watching my videos and sub and subscribing, and uh, for supporting me for a long time, nine years now, over nine years. Let's uh, let Jimmy get a little bit of love from you guys too. I appreciate all of you. Jimmy would too. Thank you guys. Bye.